Assuming we kill the lines, the most hypnotizing star I acknowledge is the star that could be amazing in our sky. It is this one bug smash or scarab press. It's a red monster star, and on the remote probability that you put it where the sun is, it would interface with the orbit of Jupiter. It's enormous, exceptionally whimsical, and going to detonate. It's not by and large as clear as it gives off an impression of being in the universe. These awe-inspiring events, like the most dreadfully huge starbursts, could shake all that we see and don't see profoundly. Anyway, Betelgeuse has been viewed as a sign, a red, very giant star that is many times more huge than our sun. Brian Cox and other space experts figure it could go supernova anytime. People are generally scared of what will occur since the James Webb Space Telescope is taking extraordinary photos of the star. When precisely will Betelgeuse become a supernova, and how massive of an impact will it have on Earth? Let's figure it out. The star in the constellation Orion that shines so brightly that even people from a long while back have seen it, the prominent star Betelgeuse, is situated on the eastern shoulder of the constellation. Betelgeuse is the second largest star in the constellation, and its name comes from this feature, the beast's shoulder. It is potentially one of the most splendid stars in the night sky. On top of being particularly bright, the star is also an odd shade of red, which, as we will see, implies trouble. We've had some huge awareness of Betelgeuse for a long time. A Greek astronomer named TMY also considered it around that time. The first thing people recognized about stars was their color. TMY said that it was a, to alarm minimal creature juice, orange variety. Researchers have been focusing on the star much more eagerly lately and now have a decent idea of what makes it so unusually bright. One of these properties is that the star changes brightness a lot, with a clear size of 0.6. Betelgeuse is a variable star, which means that its brightness changes over time. Anyway, recently specialists have discovered some new data about the star. In 2019, researchers first saw that Betelgeuse was acting curiously. No matter that Betelgeuse didn't absolutely stop shining, it wasn't the same since it had turned out to be significantly less bright shining at a degree of around 1.6. Researchers quickly started to investigate why they were seeing the 10th most brilliant star above in such an extraordinary manner. Experts have had to make a terrifying statement based on their research, which finished in the bizarre signs the star has recently shown. Experts say that Betelgeuse could go supernova unexpectedly. Brian Cox, a visible researcher who offered this incredibly hazardous explanation, is a renowned professor of particle physics at the University of Manchester School of Physics and Cosmology. You shouldn't accept his statement as a joke. He also has a science show, writes numerous popular science books, and is the Royal Society instructor for public engagement with science. Brian Cox says that Betelgeuse seems to be a ticking delayed bomb since it could go off without advance notice. To compound the situation, the James Webb Space Telescope has shown a massive amount of evidence to back up this statement. Anyway, what peculiar signs has scarab juice given that have caused so much difficulty in space study? With new data about Betelgeuse, the star has been named as a supernova candidate. However, researchers are still uncertain when it will detonate. The fact that Betelgeuse is many times the mass of the sun is one explanation for this. A star, so to speak, should be many times the mass of the sun to be known as a supernova. Things get truly interesting anyway because researchers have used various instruments to research Betelgeuse. For example, the James Webb Space Telescope and the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory to see what's going on in space around Betelgeuse. What they found is still hazy. Betelgeuse was born on August 31st, a surprisingly long time ago. Around that time, the star Betelgeuse supposedly gave unusual signs that made its future faint. What did they find, however? They could get difficult to miss light waves coming from the star or over Betelgeuse, which is extremely strange. But it wasn't the only thing specialists saw from the star. This brings us to the possibility that Betelgeuse is a star whose brightness changes every now and then. It was said that Betelgeuse dimmed down at regular intervals and had dark spots, similar to our sun today. However, the conditions have transformed. It changes from bright to dim twice as fast as it used to, which is another odd sign that Betelgeuse's behavior is back. Researchers tracked down that the star's dimming cycle had hit a very low brightness of plus 1.61 in February 2021. 
This was not long after the huge dimming event. Remember how the star appeared to decrease in a surprising manner in 2019? That's because it's generally known as the Great Dimming. We could see that the Great Dimming was the beginning of Betelgeuse's odd behavior, and that made a significant number of people stress Betelgeuse was going to detonate. The range of dimming was 1.2 between 2019 and 2020, and the most extreme level of dimming ever recorded was in 2019. So, specialists are certain Betelgeuse would go supernova in the next 100,000 years due to the sensational dimming. There is an interaction happening in the universe, so this is really startling. Researchers immediately adjusted their viewpoints. However, when they saw what occurred next, Betelgeuse got brighter again after the great dimming, also changing into something fundamentally more striking. Astrophysicist Andrea Dupree at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics says that the star is now 150% more brilliant than usual, making it the seventh most brilliant star above. This moment, researchers were terrified when they saw a red shimmer in the southern part of the globe. Today, it still gets more interesting because this has prompted different contemplations about what caused the Great Darkening. First, it's essential to note that not all stars have the red shimmer of Betelgeuse. The red shimmer of Betelgeuse means that it is a red supergiant star, which is the last phase of a star's life and death. The red shimmer, on the other hand, is brought about by a surface temperature of around 3,500 Kelvin, which is significantly cooler than the outer layer of the sun which is 5,500 Kelvin. Since Betelgeuse is cooler than our sun, it emits less energy per unit of surface area, despite the fact that it is more massive and going to explode. Now, we want to examine what the great dimming means. Brian Cox asks, does it infer that Betelgeuse is going to go supernova? Actually, the fact that Betelgeuse is a red supergiant star already shows that it is nearly done with its life as a star. A star that is dying will also commonly fade over time, which is something that researchers conclude. Taking everything into account, Betelgeuse's new abnormal behavior has made researchers much more concerned. Furthermore, many telescopes are now focusing on the great dimming. Still, things get truly interesting since specialists still don't have a significant understanding of Betelgeuse. Researchers are now using the most cutting-edge instruments to pay attention to the intriguing things happening around Betelgeuse. The James Webb Space Telescope has been one of the best instruments researchers have used. Beginning in 2021, the James Webb Space Telescope has been in space and has assisted researchers with gathering some critical information about Betelgeuse. The new pictures of Betelgeuse's wonderful darkening, taken by this telescope, have shown that the event caused a surface mass ejection. In light of new analysis, we now know that this mass ejection was around 400 billion times greater than an ordinary coronal mass ejection. The James Webb Space Telescope can also look at things that our eyes can't see, like light waves and frequencies. Thus, experts are excited for what the telescope will find. Researchers have seen dust clouds forming on the star's surface that seem to look like leaves in space. That doesn't seem to make sense, not considering the fact that Betelgeuse will die. Researchers are still observing it because they don't know when it will go supernova. Researchers believe that Betelgeuse is many times more significant than the sun and that the brilliant red star will shine for the next 10 years. However, if we look at the many unusual things happening with the star, it's hard to say if this statement will still be valid after the great dimming. So, specialists don't think Betelgeuse will explode anytime soon. If Betelgeuse does explode, it will be the first supernova we observe for ourselves since Johannes Kepler did in 1604. Researchers also don't want this to happen soon because they are still paying attention to the star's extraordinary behavior. No matter the fact that Betelgeuse will explode, specialists are certain. When exactly it will happen remains a mystery. If we look at the universe without the lines, possibly one of the most captivating stars and perhaps the most surprising in our sky is Betelgeuse, often referred to as bug juice. This red giant star, at any time set where the sun is, would extend to Jupiter's orbit. This extraordinarily huge, unstable star is on the verge of an impact. The universe doesn't work in such clear terms. Shocking events, like the dreaded starbursts, could radically change all that we see. Betelgeuse has given captivating signs. A red giant star that is several times the size of our sun. Cosmologists, including Brian Cox, believe it could go supernova at any moment. The concern lies in the results of this event, 
particularly since the James Webb Space Telescope has found disturbing photos of the star. So, when exactly will Betelgeuse become a supernova, and what effect will it have on Earth? It wasn't the same as before. It had become significantly dimmer, shining at a degree of around 1.6. Researchers quickly began to investigate why the tenth most brilliant star above was showing such unusual behavior. They had to make a terrifying statement based on their research, which revealed strange signs from the star. According to their discoveries, Betelgeuse could go supernova at any moment. Brian Cox, a famous physicist, shared this upsetting information as a respected professor of particle physics at the University of Manchester. Cox's insights carry significant weight in the academic community. He has written several popular science books and has a science show, making him a prominent figure in public engagement with science. He considered Betelgeuse to be a ticking delayed bomb, emphasizing that it could explode at any moment. The James Webb Space Telescope has provided extensive proof to support this statement, capturing stunning pictures that highlight the star's instability. Researchers have been particularly intrigued by Betelgeuse's peculiar light patterns for a long time. Space scientists have seen its variations. However, later studies suggest that these changes are becoming more pronounced. The star's brightness has shown rapid fluctuations, indicating that it may be entering a critical phase of its life cycle. This variability raises questions about the cycles occurring inside the star and how they might affect its future. In 2019, after a significant dimming event, Betelgeuse's brightness dropped to an all-time low, causing concern among astronomers. This phenomenon, referred to as the Great Dimming, led many to speculate that the star was approaching the end of its life. Scientists discovered that Betelgeuse is many times the mass of our sun, a key factor in determining its fate. A star of this size typically undergoes dramatic changes before going supernova. Later observations showed that Betelgeuse is now 150% more luminous than expected, making it the seventh most brilliant star in our sky. This sudden increase in brightness has sparked various hypotheses about its behavior. Some researchers believe it could be a precursor to the star's potential explosion, while others suggest that environmental factors, such as dust clouds or changes in surface temperature, could be affecting its luminosity. The James Webb Space Telescope has become an essential tool in this research. With its advanced capabilities, it can detect light frequencies that are invisible to the naked eye, providing further insights into the star's behavior. For instance, the telescope has observed dust clouds forming on Betelgeuse's surface that appear to resemble leaves in space. Despite the star's impending demise, Researchers remain fascinated by these findings and are eager to learn more as Betelgeuse continues to display unusual behavior. Scientists remain fully alert, even though they believe the star will likely remain bright for the next several years. Predicting its ultimate fate, however, is complex. If Betelgeuse does go supernova, it would be the first such event visible to the naked eye since Johannes Kepler observed a supernova in 1604. The consequences of a nearby supernova are immense. Depending on its distance and the energy released, it could potentially affect Earth's atmosphere and life, 